So I'm outside the hotel room of two of Iran's um, best wrestlers here. I want to show people what life is like uh, for these young men who work so hard. Uh, first of all, they're sharing a room. I mean, you would think that Olympic caliber wrestlers would have their own rooms, but uh, that's not the case. Um, you can see right here, they're not. I mean, in fact, it's, it's, it's not even two beds. It's because you know, you've got one sort of couch, rollout bed, and then you've got another sort of bed. And it's not shabby, but you know, in, in the U.S., we keep talking about why is it that we have so many boosters, uh, people that operate outside the system. And, you know, when I imagine the Iranian wrestlers who almost always place with the Americans and the Russians and everyone else in the top four, I keep thinking to myself, you know, I sort of imagine them in the, in the Ritz Carlton's, um, you know, treated, treated like royalty, just because not only is it a difficult sport, um, but also, you know, you would want someone to recover um, in, in as peaceful a way as possible. Um, but as you can see, you know, this is basically a two-star hotel and these guys work so hard and they're so humble. Um, and, you know, you got to remember at the end of the day, Saeed here is one of the oldest members. Um, but, you know, you look over here, and you've got just young kids that are just giving just all their heart and soul uh, to the sport and for us uh, just to be able to, to sort of participate secondhand in this sport. And as you can see, it really is something to see both behind the scenes uh, as well as on the mat.